Our Zimmer Kubota Country Roads takes me to little downtown Sanger, Texas, and to Caddo Mills, Texas, home of Caddo Creek. Okay, technically Richardson playing host, but a picture-perfect first-round playoff matchup tonight. Why? One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Ball in, ball in, ball in. The underdog Sanger Indians, seven and three, and average almost 40 points a game. Is that the lucky spear? Yes. So I could touch it, but you'd have to kill me. Is that right? Yeah. But they might need some luck and all that firepower tonight. Get your butt back on the bus. That's no threat. Because Cato Mills also averages 40 a contest and is a perfect 10 and 0. So it's a perfect night for football. Well, not perfect. It's cold. You guys got to stretch extra tonight, huh? Yeah. The cold, just something these reporters, I mean, players are going to have to fight through. Oh, that's that's the news, right? And the news here is Cato Mills, stud quarterback Caden Lemon, and his 2,000 yards are out. Broken collarbone suffered in last week's game. So, sophomore Alfonso Gonzalez is next man up. It's playoff time in Texas, baby. With Cato Mills out of Lemon, Foxes may have to squeeze out points another way. They do. Gavin Barabbas blocks the Sanger punt. Davion Page returns the house call. 7-6, Cato Mills first points of the night. Another three and out, and another bad punt attempt puts the Foxes at the doorstep again. This time, Adrian Baxter punches it in. 12-7, Cato Mills takes the lead. Next possession, Mills stops Sanger on downs, and that's when the Fonz starts to get comfy in his starting role. Gonzalez in off the right side, 19-7 Cato after one. Each team adds a score, and it's 27-13 Foxes at the break, but that's when it gets a little nuts. Gonzo does it again to make it 34-20 Cato Mills mid-third quarter. Is it over? <laughs> Sanger stud quarterback Logan Lewis has 3,000 total yards on the year. Shows some of why here. Great snag by Carson Heron. Sets up a score. Indians back in it. Touchdown. Mills scores after a fumble recovery. Sets them up. Game over at that point? Nope. Lewis on the wide receiver screen to Austin Shackelford. He gone. And it's game on one more time. Mills trying to seal it again with another TD, but Sanger unseals it again. But this Gonzalez kid, crazy like a fox, finally seals the deal, breaking ankles into the zone. Ball game for real this time. Fonzie's sixth touchdown of the game, five of which came on the ground. 69-55 is your final pinball game score. Lewis and Sanger put up 42 points in the second half, but so does Caddo Mills to go with 627 total yards. The Caddo Mills Foxes are moving on and will take on Pleasant Grove. But where? Saturday evening at 7 p.m. in the store. Yeah! First things first, they'll celebrate a playoff round one win tonight. Yeah! Yeah, they were a good fourth seed, seven and three. That's not usually what you expect going in as the first seed. But hey, uh, when adversity arises, we, we rise with it. Moving on there to round go. two, gotta feel good. Yes, sir, another goal ball. I said get after it. I mean, he does his thing. Even though he's a sophomore, he has the brain of a senior just like me, and he just does it, so it's all on him. To be honest, man, I just put all that behind me, and I just knew I've been playing this sport since kindergarten. I just knew I just had to play the game I love, and that's what we went out there and did. The whole team did it. All we needed to do is, if they scored, just slow. But it, but it was big play, three big plays in a row, and, and, and we just got to do a better job with that. But but it was so fun to watch number 10, his first career start, and, and just take that game over. That was pretty special and pretty fun to watch. Nice, John. Nice. Country Roads are brought to you by Zimmer or Kubota, proudly serving North Texas for over 40 years with the highest quality Kubota product and service solutions, family owned and operated since 1979.